Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. My name is Ms. Mavish Harris and I am your maths teacher from Peshawar Model School. This is over 23 lecture and in this lecture we have to study about the chapter number 10 and the name of this chapter is Fundamentals of Geometry. As my dear student you know about what is meant by geometry. It is also a branch of mathematics that deals with the measurements and relationships of lines angle surface and solid I will again explain you that it is a branch of mathematics that deals with the measurement and relationship of line angle surface and the solid so in this chapter we have to learn about the some definitions of the geometry so get ready for it before starting our topic adjacent angle, I will explain something about the geometry. Basic concepts of geometry. As you know about the line segment. Line segment. If A and B are any two points, then the line segment AB is a set of consisting of point A and B and all the points between A and B. Point A and B are called the end point of a line segment. So this is the definition of the line segment. You have already learned about a ray. If a line segment extends from one side, then it is called ray. It has only one end point. It is denoted by AB. Now come to the topic that as you know about the adjacent angle before starting the adjacent angle as you know that what is meant by angle an angle is a union of two rays having common end point and not lying on the same line the two rays are called arms and common point is called vertex of the angle so remember these words an angle is a union of two rays having common end point and not lying on the same line the two rays are called arms and common point is called vertex of the angle the size of angle is always measured in degrees then today our topic is adjacent angle adjacent angles means two angles are adjacent if they have a common side if they have a common side and a common vertex and a common vertex you know about that common point is called a vertex so corner point and their intersection is null set in figure as you see in this figure angle a b c is adjacent two angle c b and d because there are two angles angle a b and c and the second is c b and d because why these two angles are adjacent because they have a common side and the common side is b c so next uh, factor is they have a common vertex point b means the vertex point b is common so they have a common vertex point b and one angle is not contained in the other and their intersection is a null set they are not overlap means their intersection is a null set so it is known as adjacent angle so what are the figures that we have to discuss here some features related to these figures are they have a common side which is bc they have a common vertex that is point b and one angle is not contained in the other that is their intersection is a null set that is known as adjacent angle now come to the next topic that is complementary angles two angles are said to be complementary if the sum of their measure is equal to 90 degree 90 degree means right angle so let's suppose we have to draw here an angle of 90 degree and we have to say look at this 45 degree plus 45 degree that is equal to 90 degree so whenever the sum of two angles are equal to 90 degree it is known as complementary angle 
the next one is supplementary angle two angles are supplementary if they add up to 180 degree means whenever we have to add two angles and their sum is 180 degree it is known as supplementary angles like in this figure the one angle is 120 degree and the rest of other angle is 60 degree so 120 plus 60 which is equal to 180 degree now my dear student as you know about the line line segment and ray so now we have to discuss about the parallel and intersecting line what is meant by parallel line when two lines are always at the same distance apart and do not intersect let's see this figure uv and st these are the parallel line because they are always at the same distance apart but they do not intersect with each other. They are known as parallel line. In figure UV parallel to ST. Now come to the next point that is intersecting line. When two lines cut each other, when two lines cut each other at a common point, they are called intersecting line. Intersecting line, it is in cross shape and they have to cut each other at a common point. So they are called intersecting line while the parallel lines are those lines which at the same distance apart and do not intersect so they are known as parallel line so my dear students as you learn about the adjacent angle complementary angle supplementary angles you learn about some facts about the line segment parallel lines and intersector intersecting line so my dear student it is your homework that you have to learn these definition in your homework thank you